yeah, what's up, it's that Dexter's Gamer, bringing you a video on what we should expect to see at the Game Awards and what's rumoured to be seen at the Game Awards. Now, the Game Awards isn't just an event where games get awards, it's actually also an event where game companies, video game companies, announce their video games, just like they would do at E3 or any other big event. Before I show you the confirmed reveals for the Game Awards, I'm going to tell you what's confirmed not to appear, and that is The Last of Us Part 2 and Rocksteady. So the first confirmation I'll talk about is a new Obsidian game. Now Obsidian is a company that recently went out of business and Microsoft recently brought them out. Now they're back and they're making a new RPG. A famous RPG that they made, which you might have heard of, is Fortnite New Vegas, my favorite RPG. Um, great game, was pretty clunky, but it's a great game. I feel like they'll do even better now with a bigger, 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 bigger budget. So yeah, as you can see there, Obsidian will feature on the Game Awards. As you can see here, people are speculating that it will be sci-fi featured, but just because of that gun really, that's really the only picture we have of the new RPG. And then it's also confirmed that we're going to see more gameplay and further information on Anthem. If you're not aware of what Anthem is, it's an upcoming online multiplayer action role-playing video game being developed by Bioware. This will release on February 22nd of 2019, so not too long to wait. And it looks like the start of the year is going to be pretty dry for releases. I mean, we got Resident Evil 2, Anthem, Metro, Exodus. Um, that's about it, really. So hopefully, you can see some interesting stuff on Anthem. It doesn't really look like my sort of game. A lot of people are saying it's similar to Destiny. It's going to be kind of like a third-person version, but I can't agree with that. I don't. I've never really played Destiny. That's that's the reason why. So then it looks like we're going to see the exact same with Rage 2. It looks like we're going to see some new information on the game, a new trailer with a lot of new cool things to see. But hopefully, hopefully what we see with Rage 2 is some gameplay because I'm pretty sure we're yet to see some actual full on gameplay. But I'm sure that will excite many of you. For me, not too much. Rage 1 was, in my opinion, okay, but who knows? This is the second one. Then lastly, the last confirmation we have is Devil May Cry 5. I have never played a Devil May Cry game. I have really no idea what it is, except that it's an upcoming action-adventure game, which will be released on 8th of March 2019, and it's developed by Capcom. Obviously, popular developers. Um, but if you like Devil May Cry, then you should be excited for this. Anyway, it's time to get to the rumors, the rumor roundup. The most talked about rumor coming into the Game Awards is a new Avengers game. I don't really want to call it, so I'm just going to call it an Avengers game because it doesn't actually have a name right now. But over a year, over a year ago, we had a trailer, a small trailer, it was about 30 seconds long. We couldn't really gather much. But what we do know is the trailer was about an Avenger, about the Avengers. It was a video game about the Avengers. And seeing as we're past Spider-Man, it would make perfect sense to announce it now, if they can, obviously. Uh, all we could really gather from the trailer is that the setting looks bleak from the looks of it. Captain America, Hulk, Iron Man, and Thor will appear in the game in some form, and it's unclear who is narrating through the, through the trailer. But that sounds interesting, guys. An Avengers video games. I think that sounds pretty cool. And I can understand why that's the most rumoured game coming to the Game Awards. I don't know how, but apparently Crash Team Racing could be announced at the Game Awards. I, as you can see there, it was apparently teased by Activision. I tried to find out how it was teased by Activision. I couldn't really find anything. Maybe my deepest searches wasn't good enough because there's probably some really, really big nerds out there who have found something that I couldn't find. I mean, thank you if you did, but I couldn't find anything. So I'd, I think this is the most unlikely rumor. But then again, I could definitely be wrong. I'm not, I haven't done a lot of research on it. I've done about 10, 15 minutes. I couldn't really find much. Um, then we have Mortal Kombat XI, which is XI is 14, I believe, in the Greek alphabet. So, that could be happening. I'm not really a huge fan of the Mortal Kombat games. 
the uh, hacking and slashing combat does look satisfying, but it's always a game I think, should I get, should I get, then I just don't. There seems to be a lot of games in that genre, that hack and slashing 2D fighting genre, there seems to be quite a lot of them going around. A lot of the Japanese companies do it. Um, Injustice is also a popular one. Uh, that's just off the top of my head as well, but there's probably a lot more. Um, so yeah, I know Mortal Kombat is a very popular franchise and people will be excited for that. So, um, again, just a rumor, could not be true, but gives you something to uh, to think about. Metroid Prime Trilogy, if you're a fan of Nintendo, you know what that is. That could be remastered, just like Crash Team Racing. Uh, mainly because Metroid Prime 4 could be coming out, and people are saying that um, the trilogy before that could be remastered. It, it makes sense. I mean, it, 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 that could happen. I'm not down on that. That could definitely happen. Uh, I'm not really a fan of Nintendo games, but yeah, that could happen. And then we've got Alien Blackout. Alien Blackout looks like a spin off or a sequel to the Alien franchise. Excuse me. Yeah. Which, again, if you're a fan of that, you should be excited. But that about wraps it up. That's about all the rumors I could find. Also, if you're not aware when the Game Awards takes place, it's on the 6th of December. The 6th of December, 2018, um, 8.30pm Eastern, 5.30pm Pacific, and it will be broadcasted on YouTube and Twitch, I believe. And peace.